Keep it. Hey guys, welcome to Movie Show Time. Today I'm counting down my top picks for the best countryside romance movies. Miss Elizabeth. Even though city life is amazing, the countryside vibe is really unbeatable. And also, countryside love stories are so cute and pure epic ones. So, why don't we take a look at some of the best romance movies set in the countryside? On number 10, we have Endless Love. In the, what is she doing? Come on, get in the car. Come on, get in the car. She's about to fall. Get in the car. This instant. Well, in this movie, David has a crush on Jade from 10th grade, but he never told her or did anything about it. After high school graduation, they both meet and fall in love instantly. Even though Jade's father tried to separate them, they don't want to listen. They are so young and so in love with each other. And as you can see from the title, their love never stops. So that's it. You're just going to walk away. I know I'm not good enough for you. On number 9 we have a country wedding. It's uh it's good to be home. Well, I got to say that this movie is so underrated. In this story, country music star Bradley returns to his hometown in Texas to sell his house. He is about to marry an actress, but after returning to his hometown, he meets his childhood sweetheart Sarah. They start to hang out for a few days and these few days with Sarah make Bradley rethink about the woman he is going to marry. On number 8, we have the choice. Well, look who it is. Wow, can't seem to get away from you. This movie is based on a novel by Nicholas Sparks. According to Travis, the secret to life is making choices. Travis is not into serious relationship and he's just dating casually. One day, Gabby moves in next door to Travis, but she has a boyfriend. Gabby hates Travis at first, but after that, things will change. Here they have to make some important choices in life, which you will see when you watch this movie. Why do you make it so hard for me to flirt with you? Because if I made it easy, you wouldn't flirt anymore. On number 7 we have call me by your name. I like the way you say things. I don't know why you're always putting yourself down though. In the summer of 1983 in Italy, Oliver joins as an intern to Elio's father. Elio wants to show Oliver around, so they wander around places together and explore things out. As time goes by, things get complicated between Elio and Oliver, and eventually they found a romance. The ending makes us wonder what happened to Elio and Oliver in 1983. Will they have a happy ending or a sad one? On number six, we have the Decoy Bride. Right. Wait there, I'm coming with you. I'm coming down. The pedal's full of water. You get the bottom of the dress wet. I'm sure you'll be released back into the community shortly. Get back inside. Go On the remote Scottish island of Hague, there is this lady named Katie who is the only unmarried woman on Hague. On the other hand, James Orber and Laura Taylor are pretty famous and they're planning to get married in Hague to a white media and don't want people to know. Katie is among others to be the decoy bride to distract the media people. And in the end, James get married, but with who? Is that the real bride or the decoy bride? On number five, we have Footloose. Attention, attention, Ariel Moore, will you please come up to the front of the line? Your daddy is here for you. As city boy Rand McCormack is moving to a small town in Georgia from Boston. In this town, music and dance are against the law. Rand goes to the local high school where he meets Ariel and learn more about this town. With his new friends and Ariel, Rand is fighting for music and letting others know how important dance is. And also, he might fall in this movie while dancing, not with the ground, but for someone. All right, not going to tell anybody about this. No, I'm not going to tell anyone. I'm serious, Rand. I'm serious. I promise. Just follow the girls. They know what they're doing. On number four, we have Pride and Prejudice. So which of the painted peacocks is Mr. Bingley? Well, he's on the right, and on the left is his sister. 
And the person with the quizzical brow? That is his good friend, Mr. Darcy. In this movie, the story is based on a famous novel by Jane Austen. In the 18th century, Mr. Darcy and his friend Mr. Bingley arrive in a small town in England. Mr. Bingley instantly falls in love with Jane, who is one of the Bennet sisters. But Darcy and Elizabeth don't go well. Even though there is a clear chemistry between them, there is something holding them both from being together. Will they be able to let go of their ego and give love a chance? Darcy. Mr. Elizabeth. On number three, we have the longest ride. Shall we? Yeah. Good night, Good night, guys. This is the second movie on this list, which is based on a great novel by Nicholas Fox. There are two love stories in this movie. Luke is a bull rider and Sophia is into arts. They are not the perfect match, but somehow they start dating. And when they meet Ira, they'll come to know the story of Ira and Ruth. You know, with kindness and love, miracles can happen. And it's Nicholas Sparks, so it'll surely happen in this film. The reason I like you is because you're nothing like everyone else. On number two, we have Leap Year. This movie shows the beauty of the countryside of Ireland. According to Irish tradition, a woman can propose to a man on leap day. I'm going to Dublin to propose to my boyfriend on the 29th. Leap day. It's an old Irish tradition. So Anna goes to Dublin to propose to her boyfriend Jeremy on February 2019th. But instead of Dublin, she lands somewhere in Ireland because of a storm. That she meets Declan, who agrees to help Anna to drop her off in Dublin. They're going through some of the beautiful sights of Ireland, but can they make it in time to Dublin? Mm. You can see right through the curtain. Can you? Can you? Okay, lies forfeit, lies forfeit. Number one on this list is Forever My Girl. This film has one of the great countryside vibes with a very good music. Liam Page is a famous country music star who left Josie on their wedding day. After 8 years, he returned to his hometown in Louisiana because his best friend from high school passed away. Even though it's been 8 years, he still can't get over Josie. So he approaches her and finds out about things that he regrets a lot. I own it. Bought it after Mrs. Quinn passed 5 years ago. Wow. Yes, Liam. I actually did something with my life after he walked out on me. But what about Josie? Can she able to forgive him after all these years? This is the movie about second chances and how important family is. That's your car. Yeah. What's wrong with it? I don't do convertibles. They're too dangerous. That's it for the latest romantics. Watch these movies to find out more about countryside love stories. You'll definitely fall in love when you watch these movies for sure. These movies will show you about love which is pure and beautiful. And make sure you like this video so that it will get recommended to more people and they will also watch these films. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.